Oh, so good morning, guys. I haven't put a video in a while. Um, we have several babies on the ground now. This is our biggest little guy. And all the babies are pretty much out with the moms in the day. Um, June hasn't had her babies yet. That's that big white boar right there. And then her daughter hasn't had a, her kids either, and she's right there. So we're just waiting for those two to have kids. And those guys are looking good. These are our April babies from Kerr Kerr. That's their mother over there. Curry. Hi, Curry. She's looking at us. The tan Kiko goat. So, and hers are Kiko Boar Cross. Of course, we're going to... This girl's been in her stall because I've been thinking she's going to kid any second of any day for the last, like, three weeks. But she's, uh, you know, she's had mucus here and there and here and there. And <clears throat> she hasn't kidded yet. But she's... Yeah, we're just, I just keep an eye on her and I'm going to let her out get some exercise now. This girl has two kids and they're just nursing off her all the time. Not sure if she's not nursing them at all or not really sure what's going on. She does not want to nurse her babies, but I think she does a little bit. She'll just lay there and not let them nurse, just lay in her own waddle of poop so they can't nurse. So, hi kitties, those are kitty cats. This little guy's a stinker. He keeps trying to get out. <clears throat> and there's his brother. One of those is a girl. One's a boy. I think the light tan one might be a girl. Are you a boy or a girl? I don't know. It's hard to keep track of all the goats because they all look alike. And I get confused with the babies. A lot of the babies look pretty similar. I don't think all the babies are out here. There's some in the barn walking around. So, but that literally is our biggest kid out here right now. He was big at birth. Where are all the babies? They're all in. I think there's some inside there. And then I've got... <clears throat> we're still kind of working on this deal over here. This barn's really awesome. I can just open those doors and put hay in there. <clears throat> I need to figure a way to hang those buckets. I have three kids over here. Two moms. Chloe has two babies. A boy and a girl. And then... Red. Red. Stop that. She has one little girl. And this little girl is Chloe's little girl. Her first little girl ever. So I'm going to hang on to this pretty little doling. Mm, she's a decent size. <clears throat> but I want to retain her line because she puts out really good babies. And she's an older doe. So I'm going to hang on to her kid. And that, no, little boy. That's her little boy. He's really pretty. So <laughs> they're trying to eat though. That's where I put the hay when I got to sit it down. You guys are okay. We still got a lot of snow out here. We haven't had snow in a while, but it's still sitting out here. Hi, guys. What? Snowflake. This little doe is going back to who I bought her for, and we're trading out another doe because she had lost a kid, and it's her. Her. She's too narrow. We're not. We don't want to breed her again, and they're just gonna eat her. They're not gonna breed her, so we're not gonna chance that. She had the same situation last year with trying to get kids out. She couldn't get them out, so. She did retain that little guy, and we were able to save him thanks to a friend coming and helping us, so that was good. Oh, these cute little babies. The twins, they stick together, except he likes to climb through the holes that he can find. Hi, Mango. Where's Elsa? Oh, Elsa's right there. That's Elsa, and that's Mango, and they're twin girls. Ugh. Always got to fight, and always got to show their dominance. So that's what we've been up to lately. Everybody's doing pretty good. Are there kids in the barn, Josh? Um, Are there babies in the barn? I don't know. I think there's babies in the barn. We don't have all. We have 12 kids on the ground. I don't see 12 kids right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's two in the barn. <clears throat> but I don't know whose kids they are. Sometimes it's hard. When I put some of them in the barn, especially these little twins because they're absolutely the smallest that we have right now they were kind of teensy at birth and they are mia's where's mia mia's in the no mia's over there they are her kids she had one huge baby last year where are you mia oh you're fighting a juni and this year she had two smaller kids which is fine because these guys will grow they're cute but they go into the barn with mom at night time and Rose goes in the barn with her babies for now, but they could legit all stay out here. These, her and her babies do, because we have this barn that's opened up to everybody, so. 
They all get along pretty good. We don't really have a whole lot of fighting except for when we let a doe out that hasn't been out in a while and they're all on her. But Junie is a big girl. She can stick up for herself. She is fully uttered. So <clears throat> I'm thinking it's going to be very, very soon. This is a new doe we got this year. This is her second freshening. I don't know her that well. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out, you know, how she works with her kidding. But her udder's there. We'll just have to wait and see. More little cutesies. That looks like another honey. We had one like that last year. It didn't have the black stripe down its neck or anything. But just like that with the belly, white belly wrap there. Pretty darn cute. Oh, they're all special and they're all cute. Are you guys special? Yes, you are. That's an oddball little group there. I believe one's a doe, one's a buckling. They are twin babies. <laughs> It's kind of interesting when you breed and the colors that you come, that come out of these goats. That's the mom of these two. And she's definitely not a white goat, but she has, you have Siggy babies. Siggy is white. Sig is white with tan head, so that's where she gets that from. And he, that little guy picked up his mom's coloring. So it's always fun to see what colors you get, although that's not what we're trying to produce is coloring, although I like it. More the stockiness and the, the meat part of these goats because these are bred for meat goats. <clears throat> and that's what they'll be sold for meat goats or whatever. So anyways, that's about it. And got a little bit more work. My husband's done an absolutely fantastic job on this four stall um, barn deal going over here. We got a little bit more work, but very nice, very nice barn. What we had here was a weaning, weanling pen with just a makeshift shelter, but we still got some stuff to do. So, of course, there's still wood in here. And, yeah, I got some stealing up to do. But you know what? This barn has done the tricks, kept these little guys warm. She could probably go out with the other goats with her baby because her baby's pretty big. Chloe has decent size baby, size babies, but I keep her in here with her two kids. So... That's about it. These two are so cute, and I'll be breeding them at the end of the, uh, the starting of the breeding season this year. You guys are big. You're almost as big as Mama. Yeah, hi, Curry. Curry. Oh, yeah, Miss Curry. You're pregnant. I forgot about you. Miss Curry is pregnant. Hi, girl. Hello, Kirk Kirk. Yeah, yeah hi, baby girl. Mm, she is pregnant. She's going to have kids. I think she's going to deliver next month. That would be the timing when I put her in. Didn't really want to rebreed her so quickly, but I know that she needs to get on cycle with the other does. So she's bred and we'll see what happens. I see your belly moving. I see your belly moving. <clears throat> she put out two beautiful, beautiful little does. <laughs> Hello girls playing with the wheel. That's funny. You're our Curry Curry's baby. You're so pretty. Big old fluffy one there. And then this one looks like Curry. And she looks like her daddy, Mongo. She's got the fluffiness. And she's got the mommy's coat. <laughs> so sweet. So that's about it. I'm going to close off for now and update you guys when we have some more babies coming. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. And I hope you guys are all staying safe. And hope you guys are having a good start to your new year. Hi, Tiger. <laughs> we will see you guys in the next video. And once again, thanks for watching.